Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So we are back with important lecture about the atomic spectroscopy, that is the flame photometry. Flame photometry is important technique here, as far as the determination of concentration of various elements in the samples are concerned. It's also called FES. It means flame emission spectroscopy. Flame emission spectroscopy. So it's basically an emission technique. Emission spectroscopy. So, our atomic spectroscopy ka, jo credit based system ka syllabus is the last or topic. Hai. So, we have to say that 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 we have to say to say that we to the needs of the many object type exams. The flame emission spectroscopy is also called as a flame photometry. Just words we have something to do with the flame here. So basically, what is the sample here? sample that we are introducing into the flame. So we have a flame here. So we are introducing the sample into the flame. The flame is what is for example, in our sample, mein, we have presence of sodium atoms. That sodium is, will get ionized. Sodium ion. Then sodium ion will absorb the energy, it will absorb the heat of the flame. So it will go from ground state to the excited state. It will go from ground state to the excited state. Because it has absorbed the energy in the flame. Jesse sodium will go from ground to the excited state. Now it is the the, the, the atom is the, the atom, our sample is said to be in the excited state. Now from the excited state means that a molecule may agar apka electron jutha it was earlier here, now it is in this state. It has gone into this state. It's no more here. While as in the ground state, it's said to be that electron is present in the energy level one. एक, uh, एक rough estimate अपने mind में बना सकते हैं इस तरह का कि now excited state means the molecule में जो आपका electron था that has gone into the excited level so this is excited state now excited state levels हम जानते हैं कि excited state of the system is unstable so it will come back to the ground state and while it come back it will release the energy it will release the light it will release the, in the form of a different wavelength stick so that molecule will come back into this state so it releases the energy. So not molecule, atom. It releases the energy. So this wavelength emit karta hai, that is characteristic of that particular element. That is why this emission spectroscopy it is used for the elemental determination of the sample. Sample mein koon sa element present hai, that can be determined because this emission wavelength is characteristic of the energy difference for that particular element. So in general, in the flame photometry, we are making use of the flame to convert an atom into the uh, first into the uh, ionic state and then into the into the excited state. Once the excited state uh, atom comes back to its ground level, it emits the energy in the form of different wavelengths, and that wavelength is characteristic of that particular atom. So we, we should say that from the flame photometry, we can actually get the uh, the Number one, that is the qualitative information. Qualitative information about the sample. Qualitative information means that which type of element is present. The type of atom or the type of element. Type of metal present. Second, what is the intensity of the emitted light or the emitted light ki intensity kya hoti hai? So with the help of that, we can actually calculate the concentration. So with the help of intensity, we can determine the concentration. That means we can also get, apart from the qualitative information, we can also get the quantitative information. About the type of element. So this is in general hoga flame photometric basics. Take the basic principles. Now hota flame mein, 
इसमें मोस्ट कॉमनली जो हम एलिमेंट्स डिटरमाइन करते हैं दे आर सो मोस्ट कॉमनली फ्लेम फोटोमेट्री या फ्लेम इमिशन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी में मोस्ट कॉमनली वी बेसिकली स्टडी the group second elements group second elements mein aapke aate hain aapka jo periodic table hai iske extreme left mein you have alkali metals alkali metals and alkaline earth metals alkali earth metals ये जो लिथियम सोडियम वाली फैमिली और ये जो मैग्नीशियम कैल्शियम वाला तो ये मोस्ट कॉमनली वी आर स्टेडिंग इन दी विद दी हेल्प ऑफ एटॉमिक इमिशन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी और फ्लेम फोटोमेट्री की हेल्प से वी आर बेसिकली स्टेडिंग दीज एलिमेंट्स इन द सैंपल ठीक हो गया सो एंड एमंग दीज द मोस्ट कॉमन वन आर सोडियम पोटेशियम बैरियम कैल्शियम देन यू आर लिथियम दिस आर द मोस्ट कॉमन वन एंड दे हैव दीज आर द एलिमेंट्स विच वी कॉमनली स्टडी विद द हेल्प ऑफ और कॉमनली डिटेक्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ योर फ्लेम फोटोमेट्री इन सब का जिसे मैंने कहा एक अपना अपना कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इमिशन वेव लेंथ होता है राइट इमिशन वेव लेंथ सो दैट वेव लेंथ इसका जो वैल्यू होता है फॉर सोडियम इट इज 589. ये बहुत ही कॉमन है खास करके सोडियम इट मे बी आस्क इन द एग्जाम 589 एटी नाइन नाइनो मीटर करता है वंस दी एटम कम्स फ्रॉम एक्साइड स्टेट टू ग्राउंड स्टेट 766 नाइनोमीटर्स वेवलेंथ बैरियम 544 एंड देन यू हैव कैल्शियम 622. लिथियम 670. नॉट ओनली दैट इनका एक इंटरेस्टेड फ्यूचर ये भी होता है फ्लेम में कि वेन वी सी द फ्लेम वी चेक द फ्लेम ज्यूरिंग द इमिशन उसका एक अपना अपना कलर होता है जो भी एलिमेंट प्रेजेंट होगा अकॉर्डिंगली हो डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कलर इन द फ्लेम सो वी कैन ऑल्सो राइट इन द टेबल फ्लेम कलर तो फ्लेम कलर में आपका जो सोडियम इट इज येलो जूरिंग द इमिशन फिनमुना जब हम हीट करते हैं वहां पे इसको तो आपको येलो फ्लेम दिखता है सो दिस पोटेशियम इज वायलेट सो इट्स 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 ग्रीनिश बैरियम इज लाइम ग्रीन ग्रीनिश टाइप बट लाइम ग्रीन यूर कैल्शियम इज ऑरेंज इन द फ्लेम ऑफ कैल्शियम Which emits at wavelength of 622 is orange, or your uh, lithium is that is red. So it has a red flame in the lithium, a red flame in the lithium. If you focus on them all, then you will see that they are all falling in the visible region. So usually in the flame photometry or the flame emission spectroscopy, the wavelengths emit all the they all fall in the usually in the visible range, visible region. so this is all about the basics of the flame photometry or flame emission spectroscopy jahan pe hum usually determine the group second elements and these are the common ones alkali alkali earth metals usme ye hota hai ki you heat it on the sample you heat the sample on the flame where that flame converts the sample into the ions and then converts the ions from ground state to excited state so once they come back they release the energy in the form of Uh, they have a least energy have a different wavelengths and that wavelength is specific for that particular element so that means which wavelength will be emitted that will determine as so with the help of one if we detect that wavelength analyze that wavelength we can will be in a position to determine which type of element is present that's called a qualitative information and the intensity of the emitted wavelength we can determine the concentration of sample present that's the quantitative information ab isme ek important point ye hai usually hai ki ye jo elements hai uh all these the image generally in the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum 
और दूसरा आ, आप ये जो है इनको यूजुअली जो इसमें सो यूज दिस सैंपल फॉर डिटेक्शन ऑफ सोडियम एट एलिमेंट्स लाइक सोडियम पोटेशियम कैल्शियम इन दी सैंपल्स एनवायरमेंट सैंपल सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ द फ्लेम फोटोमेट्री अब इसमें एक लास्ट टॉपिक बच जाता है दैट इज योर द फ्लेम फोटोमीटर द इंस्ट्रूमेंट तो इनशाला दैट विल सी इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास दिस ऑल फॉर द